Hello guys and very welcome to this video. Today I am on my way to take a look at an old electric car from 1991. It's a Volkswagen Golf City Stromer and uh, they only produced around 130 cars so it's a really rare one. I have never seen one in the real life. And uh, the motor on this car is rated to 12 kilowatts so it's not a racing car. Let's leave it like that. And uh, the battery bank is, uh, the capacity there is uh, rated to 11.7 kilowatt hours when it was released. But this bank is of course changed over the years. So maybe it's the third battery bank that is placed in this car, I don't know actually. But however, my plan here is to uh, maybe buy it if I like the car. And uh, later on, I also have plans to maybe change the battery bank to lithium ion. So that's why I will do this video for you guys, because this channel is mostly about electric stuff. And well, this car, it's electric. So here we go, guys. And uh, as always, very welcome. guys I have the car with me I have paid for it so now it's mine and I have to say that it was actually in better shape than I first thought so uh, the only place when I did find uh, that the rust had penetrated the metal was in the lower section of the left hand door and I will take care of that in the winter later on and it is also a lot of surface rust but that's pretty normal for that age and this type of car so, uh, however, the good thing here is that the car is road legal. So uh, my plan is to just drive it as it is now for a couple of weeks and then maybe just remove all of those old lead acid batteries because I don't think that they hold so many kilowatt hours anymore. And uh, it is also different brands on the battery packs and that is normally not a good sign at all. And. Uh, uh, the last summer I did post a video when I opened up an uh, Audi e-tron battery pack on 95 kilowatt hours and later I did post a video when I ripped all of those modules out of that battery pack and my plan is now to take 10 or 12 modules and install those in this car and that will uh, give me around 26 to 30 kilowatt hours and the range will then be around 20 or 200 to 250 kilometers and that's pretty good in this type of car I think that will fit my needs very good anyway so um, now I just have some driving to do here and uh, I will do more videos later on when I am home of course if it isn't too dark then if so I will of course do the video tomorrow see you later guys
looking so good. Here it is guys, the next following day and I will just do a quick walk around to show you guys and also show myself because I hadn't had the time yet to take a closer look at it and just see how it looks and uh, what I have learned so far is that the motor and the speed controller is not the original one. Somebody has changed those out long time back ago. And uh, the battery bank is also expanded, I think it was four or five more uh, six volts batteries inside of the car. Anyhow, let's take a closer look at it and see what we will find. gear I do it automatically so let's floor it So this should be the 12 volt side and here is an amp meter for the high voltage side and this door has one been changed you can see that it has actually been red once in its life and here is the rust that I was talking about so I actually called a guy who had one spare door laying around so I will buy that from him and here is the battery bank that will be here under the back seat how many batteries is it one two three four five batteries under the rear seat and then we have the trunk you can see that we have some surface rust here so I will of course try to remove that and here are the 
rear battery pack and we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven plus five is sixteen, right? And then we have the chargers here, 24 volts here, and one on this side, 24 volts here. I don't know how this is connected, that would be interesting. And this is of course the charging cable, so I will just plug it in and <laughs> this one has been hot. Or maybe not, it did just look like that. Okay. And here is the battery box that they uh, built from the factory it almost look uh, look a little homemade but that's the way they did it so it's a little low in the rear so here is a few dents and uh, I will take care of that in the winter We try to just fix it up as cheap and easy and fast as possible just for this summer so I can use it so it doesn't look too bad. I mean this rust here it's still pretty okay. It looks a little worse than it is. It's easy to say that now until I start to work with it and it's probably a big hole like this or something. Here's the charging plug. That's the way how they do it back in the days. <laughs> so it's pretty solid. And this door looks just fantastic. I mean, this is just ready to paint. So that's great. A car this old, I have to say that I have seen <laughs> far worse than this. And by the way, there is the front battery box that are under the rear seat. So it's <laughs> really low actually. And here are the four extra batteries. It's a little messy inside here. So here is the speed controller. And I guess that this is the 120 to 12 volt uh, converter. It says converter on it. Right there. And uh, this is an air filter because we have a fan here that will blow air into the motor there. And then we have a fan here, and this one is taking care of the ventilation to all of the battery boxes, so we don't have any dangerous gases inside there. And then we have, a, well, we should have some kind of vacuum pump to the brakes. I wonder what, where that one can be. So, okay, there is some kind of a vacuum pump and <laughs> here it has been a little hot here I think I have to take a look at that and the, here is the <laughs> so it's some kind of potentiometer inside of this little box and this runs into your gas pedal, of course. It looks so crappy. I mean, look here. All of this corrosion. <laughs> and this is laying right over the batteries. <laughs> Crazy. And the first plan here is to just remove this uh, extra light 
and uh, well I will also paint this one so it will be white and just clean it maybe paint this more black just so it looks a little better for this summer and then I will take care of the rest in the winter time here so uh, it will be more videos about this car and how I am uh, trying to restore it uh, later on in the future and I am going to charge it from my homemade solar system and homemade battery bank for my house I hope I see you next time thank you so much guys take care and goodbye